Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here and today I have a really quick video for you. This video is showing you how to turn all of your paper clips or even staples into gold. So I'm going, I'm using this Krylon Antique Carrot Gold Leafing Pen. And you can get this at any like big box craft store, Michaels, Joanne, any place like that. So you're just going to want to, to get started, kind of tap it on your work surface to get it moving. And I just put the paper clips onto a piece of scratch paper. It just makes them easy and it holds them in place. And I am simply going to color them. And any, some of them have like a little bit that will show, um, but it doesn't really show here for some reason. I don't, I'm not really sure why. So you're gonna kinda wanna shift after, I suggest doing it after it's dry. After it's dry, kind of shift it around just a little bit to kind of make sure you have all of the area covered. You can do the back side if you want to. It kind of makes it look more complete, but you don't have to. So I have just a, a big variety of silver paper clips, which I like and I use, but I am on a gold kick like everybody else, and I like things to be gold. So I've tried several different pens. I Just so you know, um, I've tried the... Who makes this? EK Success Metallic Collection Writer Pen. While it's a great pen for journaling, it is not a good pen for this because it chips off. And I have also tried the Deco Color Liquid Gold Opaque Opaque Paint Marker from Marvy. And it does not, well, it might work. I have an extra fine one, so it didn't really work. So the best, my best bet is this Krylon pen. So that's what they look like when I am finished. And it's just a really, I think it's just a really fun way to change things up. I also use the same technique, and I think I posted a video a while ago. For my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, I just take the staples and lay them on my work surface and color them in gold and then put them in my Tiny Attacher so I have gold staples. So here is a close-up of the little piggy. He's so cute. And now they have dried I believe and I think I'm just showing you the pen again. So here they are like the next day or two days later and they're all nice and dry and I keep them in this little container with the rest of my paper clips and I'm going to show you so basically now you've made these what do you do with them right? So I just made a couple quick little things now I will cheat just a little bit because this bow paper clip I didn't make, but it just, it, you could take a silver one and make it gold. It just ha so happens it was already gold and I needed a bow. Here's a little bag and I just put a tag on it and a puffy sticker and a little camera paper clip and it is so cute. I also use them on layouts and stuff, but all my layouts are still packed up so I didn't want to dig through them and find some. This is just a little tag that says so very sweet and a little strawberry paper clip up there. I just watercolored it really quickly. So there's just a couple of examples of what you can do with your paper clips once you've turned them gold or if they're already gold. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye.